Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do a really awesome effect, which is called speed ramping. And I'm not just going to show you how to make time go really fast and then immediately stop and go slow. I'm going to show you how to make it look smooth with curves. So I'm just going to show you how it's going to look and then we're going to get straight into DaVinci Resolve. Let's go. Okay guys, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, I just want to say sorry for the flickering. I did not have much time, but I still wanted to get this video out. So, let's now go and show you how to do this awesome thing. So this is also called speed warping, if you wanted to know. Okay, let's go into it. So you're going to take your clip, right click on it, and you're going to want to go here to real time curve. Now that you're there, you're just going to want to zoom in a bit. And you're going to want to go here to real-time speed. So it's going to be unchecked like this. And you're going to want to go here, real-time speed. Awesome. Now, if we just move a bit like this. Okay. And just unzoom a bit. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to want to pick when we want it to start our speed. So this looks like a great point for me. And then... Whoa, that went fast, so you can just move with the arrow keys. Then this looks like a good endpoint. So you're just going to want to mark it like that. Now, all you can do, all you're going to need to do is, if you want to make it before, like, really fast or whatever, and after really fast, you can pretty much do that to your own will. And when you zoom in, you're probably going to want to keep your marker in the middle. So it zooms in and gives you most of your clip. Okay, so now though, if you're saying, well, okay, I really want this to be like really fast okay, at the start, and you can't, so you just go here and then you can make it like as much as you want. Okay, but I advise not to go too crazy unless you have like a really long thing clip. Okay, so let's say I want to go like this. So now what we're going to want to do to make it look smooth and good is go like this. And just press here. And here you can customize the amount of smoothness, I guess. See how you want it to be. And that is a actually pretty important part. So I advise you to play around with it. And once you've gotten that ready and good, then you just want to make sure that this is at 100 now. So now we can start the, the um, slow motion. So you're just going to want to pull it down to as much as I'm going to tell you right now, okay? So each clip is recorded at different frames per second, frame rate, whatever. So my clip is at 120, and I'm bringing it to a 24 timeline. So that's five times slower, and that is bringing it down to 20%. Your clip, if it's 60 to 30, that's going to be bringing it down to 50%. And you can just do the math by, you know, doing the what you have divided by what you're going to and then that in percentages okay so now that we have it though when we're going to try to run it back it's going to go like this so it's not going to work the nicest but you saw you can see it mainly there mainly at the start so i divide to go like that but it's still going to be a bit choppy at the start but don't worry in the end result it's definitely not going to be choppy and whatever and as you saw before, it's not choppy. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment on what you guys want to see next. I have been fine for it. See you. Bye.